Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Up to now in the Vuex, we have learned so many concepts we have learned. That means we have learned about the mutations, we have learned about the actions, getters and also the state also we have learned. Now we will learn about uh, state, getters, mutation, actions. So these four concepts we have learned. So that means most of the concepts we have learned. Now we will learn about the modules. What are these modules? Okay. So modules means nothing but what we can say is dividing the state into a different different modules according to your project structure. So that these all modules will be combinedly combined into the Vuex store. So as we already know that the Vuex store will be single only one will be only one for the project. So it, it will be only one store will be available only for one project. Okay. So that means the state if you go on the application project if it is going on big means that means the state what it will become the state whatever we are having here it may become very much big why because you will be having so many variables right now we have only counted to do's in the big project you will be having all the things about the authentication everything we need to maintain in the store so for that reason the state will become very big so that is the reason what we can do is so we can divide the state into a different different modules so that the modules each module can have its own mutations getters actions and also the state and and these all modules combinedly we can we can add it in the store so that everything combines into a single state so like that also we can define we can divide so let's now in this video we will try to divide this store into a modules so before continuing to this video if you are coming first time to here please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that i'll be posting more and more front-end development courses now coming to this video here we have two concepts okay we are we are here the, the store can be divided into two modules one is the counter module and also another one is the to do's module that means to do's and count is not at all related to each other so this is separate the uh, separate set of data and this count is separate set of data okay so these two are not uh, related to each other so that means we can divide these two things into a separate module let's try to divide this one so how we can divide is so let's divide the let's name the counter module so create a variable with name counter module whatever the name you want you can create it will take an object so it will not take the create store like that it will take an object so in this object what you will be having is you will be having the state and you will be having the mutations same thing so whatever the things you will be having for the create store you will be having the same things getters and also last one is actions so these four things you will be having now what are the parts we can divide it we can divide this count okay here i can add it return count so i can add so let's go to the mutations what are the mutations we are having increment this is related to the count right so i can copy i can remove this one and i can add it in the mutations in the same scenario how can what can i do so getters getters are not related nothing is there related to the count and here actions actions are related to the count so increment action a action b three are related to the count so you can write you can remove and you can add to the actions okay so now we have divided the counter module now let's add another module that is nothing but constant to do module okay so let's divide this one also into a separate module so that you'll have an idea so i am dividing this one to do module so let's for this one also same it will it should be created as an object and here also you will be having a state and here return it should be an object and here you will be having mutations if mutations are there you can have the mutations and getters you can have the getters and also last but not least actions so these are the four things now state what is the state you are having yeah this is the to do's so you can copy this one and you can paste it here and here what are the, these are all the getters so you can copy these all getters and here you can add it in the getters okay fine done now here nothing is there okay so we are, don't have the actions for the to do's and mutations we didn't create it i think if you want if you have you can you can add it in here and now somehow we need to relate this to do's module and also this counter module to the store we need to add it into the store so how can we add it so here you will be having another one that is nothing but property modules so modules you will be having like this and first one is the counter so you can add counter whatever the name you want you can give counter should be related to the counter module you can add it like this and another one is the to do's to do's whatever the name you want you can give 
and here I will be having the to do's module. So this is how you will be adding the modules like this. So the state getters and mutations and also you can also have another state and mutations here also you can define. So these all things, these counter to do's, everything will be merged into a single state. So this is how we have divided this one. Now let's go and change some 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 data. So here counter, and here in the map state you are getting the state dot count right. So now it is not not like that state dot counter dot count. Why? Because so it is in the counter. So we are divided in the counter. Right? This is the name we need to include before the state dot counter dot count. Okay. And here increment uh, map actions increment. Okay, fine. It's not a problem. And here let's go to the hello world is nothing is there in the to do list. Uh, if you go to the app dot view. Okay, let's go to the app dot view and if you go to the app dot view here also the same thing counter dot okay so everything is done now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output here if i try to refresh this one and here we are able to see the counter to do list we will try to see afterwards after completing this increment to do a counter and here we will be we are able to see the counter if we click on increment so it is incrementing without any problem it is incrementing why because these are actions right it is taking some time to increment set time out and promise we have written right so that is the reason it is taking some time so now increment counter is done now let's go to the to do's list so now here what is happening yet the to do's itself are not showing so let's try to see the to do's whether it is showing or not so here the problem is there so we have not converted these all things into the map setters uh, what we can say map getters and map setters are not there so let's try to do map getters so let's try to use this one map getters okay maps map state first one is the map state right why because we have a state there so here i can i can i can take to do to do list to do list state state dot so it is in the to do's right to do's dot what is the name to do's to do's dot to do's now we can remove this one so now let's try to see the output so whether we are getting the data or not so here we are not getting the data why because so we don't we have not given the comma we need to give the comma now if i see i am not able to see the data why i am not able to see the data state dot to do's dot to do's and now if i go there so let's try yeah now we are able to see the data so sorry we need to refresh this one so we are not we are able to see the data and here also we are able to see the data and now if i click here here also i am able to see the data see okay so we are able to do the everything so everything is working fine right and here what we can do is so this is the thing and here we are having all the getters things so like this also if you read if you write it will be it will work or otherwise if you want to do it in the map getters also you can do map getters okay and here you will be having so to do list count you can copy here and you can paste it here like this okay and here i can done to do's i can take this done to do's and i can paste it done to do's with like this okay and here to do we are having the to do right so to do and here get it so this is little bit of different so get to do by id but get to do by id is taking an argument so how how we can define this one let's remove this other code if you want you can you can add it like this so these type of things you can add it like this directly so this type of getters you can add it like this directly or otherwise if you want to use map getters only then you need to change little bit of logic so you can try to do by id i can change it like this okay so we have all these things right so now let's go and see the output so what it is happening so here it is saying map getters is not open okay no not a problem map state is there map getters we need to import so yeah okay we have imported map getters now if i try to see the output yeah if i click here we are not able to see the output what is the reason we are getting is get to do by id we need to send the argument of id now what is happening here uh, we are able to see that on to do selected it is sending the data right so now what we need to do is here we need to add an intermediate variable to do okay empty so why because so we are checking with the to do right so now on selected you need to call this getters so now here you need to tell that this dot to do you need to save it here and this dot to do by id and you need to pass the id there so this is the this is how little bit of logic you need to change or otherwise you can write uh, previously how it was like that only you can also mention now if i try to refresh this one now if i click here 
now we are able to see the output now if you are able to see now we are able to see the output see so this is how the main concept is now modules right so you map set map set and map getters also i am explaining why because we have it implemented in the to-do list so that is the reason i am explaining you so now this is how we can divide the state each uh, every state so particular set of state into a different module so that all the modules we can add it in the create store so this is all about the modules concept in the vuex so okay dividing the state into a different different modules if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you